That's great. Silicon Valley. Technology, art, green, and sustainability. Welcome to another episode of Silicon Valley Tech, Art, Green, and Sustainability. We're celebrating our seventh year, and uh, so we, we started filming seven years ago, February 2009, and our first show aired March 2009. So tonight, I'm very honored to have a dear friend with me, Frank Jewett, who does so much, and you just, you do so much, and I, I can't even, like, people say they can't keep up with me, but I can't keep up with you. You just do so much. I'm so impressed. Um, before we start talking about business and what you're doing, and we're going to talk a little bit about what's been going on in the last seven years here in the Valley. Silicon Valley's changed a little bit um, from technology to housing to other things. Tell us about you and your background and what you do, because you do a lot. Well, Heather, thank you again for having me on your show. It's, yeah. it's clearly an honor to be on your show and, and certainly to have had some uh, involvement in uh, that germ of an idea to help you get your show going, and you've done a tremendous job, and I, and I, I applaud you for. Well, I thank you for, for all that you're for letting doing. me know about the station, and thank you so much. Absolutely, this has truly been a community asset, and and, and I'm I'm glad that that you're doing it and you're playing a key role in in helping to expose many things to to this community. Again, uh, for those looking in, I'm Frank Jewett, and I and the co-founder and executive producer for Issues Today, the Community Television Forum, which began uh, in May uh, of 95. And uh, I began it with Don Wolf, and uh, Don is, is since passed, but... Uh, and how did the two of you meet? Uh, we, we met uh, through uh, political uh, channels and involvement. You know, Don had served on the city council in Saratoga, uh, we helped get him elected there, and then he served. He and I served together on the West Valley Mission Community College District Board, where uh, I was uh, elected, and he had served a term as well. And so we'd done a lot of political things, and realized that it was important to continue to talk about some of the needs of the community. And so we. And again, did you grow up in the Bay Area? No, I I grew up in Southern California. Okay. And so I've got this accent. And, and no, no, no <laughs> accent. We're just no, California accent. And, and you went to college here. And so I came to San Jose on a track scholarship from oh, from Southern California. I forgot about that. Yeah. And so uh, it was supposed to be just short term. You know, you come up here, you you uh, take advantage of the opportunity to have, have a scholarship and to do your very best academically. And, and that was at San Jose State. San Jose State, okay. uh, athletically and academically, and then uh, I got, like you, very active and very involved in the community, involved in the university, and so began this long uh, process of, of immersing myself in the community with so many different groups that, that provide so much to well, the yeah, betterment of the community. Well, yeah, we have mutual friends from San Jose State, but I think we met like through the chamber, right, or, or something. Yeah, I, I believe we did. You uh, were really involved with the chamber the and other organizations. San Jose Silicon Valley Chamber of Commerce has, has been at the, at the core uh, a, a strong engine for economic development enhancement in the valley. And uh, when I was in my, in my banking phase of, of my career, we uh, had to go and and learn about what's going on in the community. And there's so many great things going on and they're doing so many great things at the chamber now. And and, and, uh, and now you do consulting and technology and, and tell us about the consulting that you do. Um, I, I consult broad-basedly uh, to various business organizations uh, regarding how they can come to market, how they can market and, and provide, have more greater elevation and exposure to their organization and uh, so and you I, also recently got your master's yeah and I, you serve with the military too which is pretty yeah interesting, I, which is why you're in great shape right <laughs> <laughs> that's what they tell me I said that you, you got to stay in shape I mean you, you, you no matter how old you are you got to keep working at it but yeah I, uh, I did go back um, and most people said it's too late to go back to school and I will tell anybody looking in that uh, 
that was a, a great experience as an, an older student to go back and go down that path and... Oh, come on, we're not that old. <laughs> no, I know, but I mean, uh, when you're no longer 20-something or 30-something, say, you know, we're, we're still very young, but uh, it, it was, it was a, a great experience at St. Mary's uh, College through their executive MBA program to learn from a myriad of people and to uh, provide some great insights uh, from, from my experiences, both political and business. And so I'm working with a, a small company in the Valley, Accelerate Networks, which is doing some phenomenal things in terms of, of uh, IT technology and consulting. They, they provide um, some of the, the, the key necessities and components that help organizations be successful, whether it be their, their storage, their backup, their disaster recovery, their firewalls, their uh, network security, uh, their cloud computing, and so consultation on that, and use some of the best of breed applications. And uh, we have strategic partners, IBM, HP, Brocade, um, Dell, Wheeland Network, Secure64 Array, Light Cyber, that collectively are providing some instrumental value to where we are going in terms of, of technology and the confluence of, of what is happening uh, from us going from hardware-based, you know, to uh, cloud-based and, and the security that, that's necessary to, to secure s some of the great technology that is being developed in Silicon Valley. So again, um, um. late 2008, um, you introduced me to Create TV, mm -hmm. and you had been doing a show at that time, Issues Today, for 15 years, I think. Yes. Um, and so you, you are coming up on almost on your 500th show. Tell us about what Issues Today, what do they cover, what do you cover in the show? Well, the, people always ask that question, and I think that when we started off, we didn't want to get pigeonholed into one particular area, so we are uh, focused on uh, broad-based value to the community. So we're looking at local, state, and federal issues and bringing information to the community that, that they oftentimes don't, don't get. And so what we often say is that we bring you issues today because there's truly got to be a better way. And what you're doing is indicative of, of a better way and, and that's sort of the thread also for issues today is to provide that, that better way. There are 4,500 nonprofit organizations in the Valley that are doing some phenomenal things and we've had the opportunity to, to have educators on, to have nonprofit leaders on, to talk about some of the things that have enhanced the quality of life uh, in the Valley. So how long have you been producing then? Because that was 15 well, years we've, then. Uh, we are you, we're in our 21st year wow. of, of production and... And what motivated and, you? And uh, we happened to be on, on a show. I was asked to, to run for st uh, the state legislature in 94 and I was on someone else's show. I believe his name was Tim Fitzgerald or, at that time. And he was, uh, before Create TV, you know, the cable access provided opportunities for individuals to have shows and I was at, they said, well you should get a show and it, it like you said, it didn't dawn and on me. And that was Comcast back that then. That was Comcast. That wasn't the Create TV because they weren't born they at weren't that born time. They weren't born at yeah. that time. So th those various iterations uh, along the way and we were asked to, to look at this as, as a plausible way to continue uh, service and continue to get a, a, a broad-based message out and so we began down that path of, of having uh, executive directors on, uh, community leaders on, uh, legislators, and uh, to provide again some of, the, some of the key information that the community needed to have and, and, and on an ongoing basis and believe that we were providing uh, a service as you are in terms of, of getting the word out about so many important things that are, are necessary and important and have some value in terms of effectuating some positive 
influential change in the value in the valley. I'm going to pull up the first slide. I'm <coughs> kind of behind on the slides right now, which shows us Silicon Valley. It's got a little map with all the tech companies, and you've got San Francisco, and then you've got actually down in the South Bay. And I think we can pull that down. People consider, you know, Silicon Valley is really broad. I think people consider all the way up to Marin, and you know, there's a lot of tech companies everywhere. A lot has changed in the last se last seven years. Um, there's the housing has just exploded, right? And um, in 2008, I think when we met, there there was a, kind of a, a tech bust again. 2002, 2008, they kind of expect there's a little flow in that. Let's bring up the next slide too. It shows um, Silicon Valley waves of innovation and the different technology, you know, vacuum tubes, test equipment, microwave, all the way up to social media. We can pull that down. Um, so you know. There's different waves. We're talking about wearable and VMware and different waves of technology. Also, and we're going to look at that. Um, what are your What are your thoughts about the economy and how are things going with that? 